We're parked outside the mill in uh, West Ayton and we're walking uh, along the top of Forge Valley towards Cocker House, Wrench Green and then back down the bottom of the valley. We head towards Yedmondale Road then turn right. Keep walking straight forward past Castle Rise towards Cockra Road. Walk up to the top of the hill to the end of Yedmondale Road and then turn right and we'll be picking the walk up on your right hand side. Within half a minute you're turning off the road and you're walking down the side of the road. You've got your caravan club on the right hand side and then 50 yards past the site entrance you turn right and then we walk to the end of the field turn left and then we just we've got forge valley down below we just walk across the top and we'll see what we can find you're walking with a taxi driver today just keep walking forward till you see the stone wall there's a path that seems to lead straight on but you turn right there across the top of the woods and the valley on your right straight away you're walking through the wood on the top of the valley stone walls on your left hand side just head forward and then you'll see a couple of well look like a fresh badger set here looks like they've been digging overnight fresh earth there look early april and there's a you know a fair few woodland flowers coming out now wherever you look in the woods there seems to be plenty of primroses about right at the side of the path little purple orchid with like green leaves and like browny purpley coloured dots on the leaves there look. And there's the leaves I don't know what sort of orchid it is there's a path on the left hand side and if you look on this stone wall you've got blossom and everything you know we're time of year we're looking for different things to of interest and maybe flowers today might be one of them we don't know but uh, certainly lovely up here it really is we'll head forward you can hear and see there's a breeze on and it slightly slopes there's a path but you know beautiful place we just keep heading straight forward as you're walking across the valley top you've got the big steep drop on your right hand side you'll see a farm in front of you footpath says Cockra Road but we're going straight on then 50 feet further on if you look to your right hand side and look at this for a view and then a few hundred yards after the farm we start dropping off quite quickly through the trees heading towards Cocker House. We come down through the bottom of the wood down the hill and just keep following the track and it's a good place to take a few photographs here. Right if you look there there's your River Derwent and if we just go a bit further there look that's where they put the cut in Walbert's cut and then if we just follow the canal there look and that's Mothorpe Bridge or Mothorpe Farm and we've got a load of little calves here look with the mothers there at the end of the track through the gate and we're going to the right hand side of the farm we've just come through the farm we're onto the track we're going to go past Cocker House and walk up to the bridge because we know there's a seat have a sandwich and then make our way back right so we follow the track till we get to uh, Cocker House then if you look to the right you'll see there's a seat and a bridge where them two cars are parked we're going to walk up there and we're going to have a drink and then make our way back past Cocker House to pick the river up at the bottom so there's the bridge
and there's Cockra House. But you don't have to go up to the bridge, you can turn right in a second, we'll show you that. Yeah, so we've come over the cattle grid, we're taking the, the left hand fork down towards the river, over the stile. Jack Dory, look with some nesting material. You can tell that by his white cap there, look. Let's have a quick look at the other side as we uh, as we walk along. And that building you can see there is the uh, the pub halfway between uh, East Satan and Hackness. And we're Just heading forward now. So if you look at that little dip in the skyline, that's where we're heading. Head across the field till you come to the fence line, slowly going down. And when you see the river on your left, just pass a load of like thorn bushes and that. The stiles in your left hand corner. Then as you head through the fence, straight away the river's just on your left and you know it's easy going, just follow the yellow arrows now. Now this is something we'd just like to show you. If you look there where that weir is there, that's the course of the old river. But if you look to the left, where these uh, little lambs are, that's what's known as Walbert's Cut. And about 100 and odd years ago, you know, long before global warming was thought of, because of the flooding down in the valley and and all around there they decided to put a cut here from here to Scolby Mills this is worth a look I can see a heron in background there's a heron there you can see him look at top at cut there he is this little section here you can't walk this bit but we've just popped through the gate to let you have a look if you but the start of the road the bridge there you can walk all the way to Scolby Mills and that's another one we'll show you one day got a little lamb there look just Messing about with a molehill. There he says, I've had, had enough. Can you see that? Can you see that lamb at back? That's got its foot rested on one in front there, look. Talk about lazy. And you've got a couple of little lambs here hidden in grass. Look at that. Just having a little feed there. Look, these aren't three or four days old. She's just checking that there is. You look to your right, you'll see like a little house up on the hill, but we're keeping tight into the river. And you can see they've got little sparrows or something just outside at water edge. They've gone. There's a big, like a little pool in the field and a couple of Canada geese there, look. We're just outside at river. We've just seen a kingfisher fly. Just go by, but we know it's in front of us now. There seems to be loads of herons. So we're going to go down and, you know, hopefully find a nest. We don't know if we will. But uh, we've seen at least a dozen up to now. If you look to your right hand side as you walk along, you'll see the ruins of an old farm or a building or something. 12th of April today, and uh, butterfly there posing for us. We'll keep going. Yeah, they're not, I think there's a nest. I think there must be a nest in here because Keats seems to keep flying back to them trees. He's off again. Here he is, look. Let's get him now. There we are. Look at that, that is beautiful. Huh? Just in the field at the back, just off the side of the river, with about half a dozen herons just stood there. Obviously, they're from this nest. You can see herons looking field, far side. Just you know, this we found now three, eight nests of herons. Eight! <laughs> and they're all in field there. Right underneath, five nests. 
With Heron here just sat in middle of field. Look at that, he's just pretty nice in there. God. I'm going to keep down below the edge because if he sees us, I think he'll be off. Yeah, he's just pretty nice in away here. Sort of facing towards us slightly. Sat facing us. Have you got that, Janice? Yeah. Just seen three fly off there, so we're going to get tucked in and see if we can get any shots. Can you see this? She's coming in to feed. Look at this. She's feeding chicks here. Look at this. It's fantastic. Heron chicks, look. Oh, she's got three chicks. She's feeding three. We're about 200 feet, 300 feet from nest. They're there. They're, she's got three chicks, Janice. Yeah, there they are, just wrestling for food. One, two, three. She just stood there. They're just trying to coax her into. Well, these are good shots. Are these <laughs> to get her and nest? Nest one thing to, but to get chicks on nest. Is fantastic. Then you can hear them there, just you know, encouraging mum to. Yeah, there they are. They're nearly as tall as her, but not quite. There's a you know, there's half a dozen nests here, maybe more. But this has took some going as this shot, we've had to keep very quiet. Keep well in, took well in. Just past the herons, we go through the gate and to the top side of that gorse and just keep heading forward forward across an open field and that'll bring you out at the start of the wheelchair walkway yeah it's just in the corner of the field to your right we hope to see plenty of wildlife here got, you can see all plants water marigolds and irises and everything else we're just heading forward we're just on the uh, walkway at the back of the bird feeding station and we've got a little robin in front of us he's only about 10 foot away and every now and again we just turn round and have a look because the sun's in our eyes just to give you an idea of what it looks like down here but we keep heading forward got a little duck there just swimming away just in front of the marigolds there look no touch look at that god I can't believe that just stood there for us. Look at that. No touch. Bah. We don't have to stand stop still. We're about 20 feet away. Bah. We don't get many of these. It's only about third one we've filmed is this. He's off. And then just through, just on the left of the bridge, you've got uh, picnic tables and... Uh, you know, that's a car park. But we're going straight on. And we've got plenty of these little white plants out. We don't know what they are. If you look, they're right in, in the middle of the garlic. You know, it's steep sided as this, but uh, they look nice. Garlic will be out, no doubt, in another week or two. You can hear birds in the background. There we are with a dipper there. Just outside at water. There's plenty of them about. There he is. And it's getting to be nesting time now, so. And then we look behind again and just look.
at the mass of white flowers there, look, in the wood. Keep heading forward, you can hear the road on your left hand side. And we're heading towards the castle now in Ayton. Just look at the reflection of the marigolds there back into the water. Just near the marsh marigolds there. Can you see him? Little wren. And at the end of the board where you'll come out into an open field and just keep bearing right and that'll bring you to the castle and then as you come round the bend you can see what's left of the castle in front of you we'll go up to it and see if we can look inside like I say it's only a ruin but we'll have a quick look inside if we can we've just clambered inside and having a quick look out 20 hour slits there look so they're quite a commanding view if you look and you can see one of them slip windows there looking uh, the stairs to your right we've just been up there and had a quick look and we'll just get a shot of the view from the front of the castle as you can see there the river flows at back of the uh, of the village so they'd have a an ample water supply well, we're more or less back now. We hope you've enjoyed another one of our walks in North Yorkshire. We're only about six miles from Scarborough, Forge Valley. You've been walking with a taxi driver today.